It's been calculated that Sichuan people eat over 300 million rabbits a year. That's nine rabbits per second. But there's actually one city that accounts for over half of this number. And that's where I am right now, the city of Zigong. Zigong is located to the south of Chengdu in what happens to be a very hilly region. This is actually one of the reasons you'll find so many rabbit dishes here. As I've learned from my research, it's not so easy to raise huge amounts of large livestock in hilly regions. So for the last hundreds of years, this region has instead looked to rabbit farming. Another factor that's influenced the local cuisine is salt. Zigong historically was a salt mining capital and the local cuisine here is actually called Yanbang Tai. Salt is in the name of the cuisine itself. It's a cuisine characterized by thick, heavy, bold, very spicy, rich, dare I say, whack bang flavor. And spoiler alert, that's exactly what's waiting for us ahead in today's food adventure. Oh, as well as, of course, a lot of rabbit. And the adventure starts right now. Behind me here, we have what could only be described as a, a rabbit takeout store. It's preparing many different parts of the rabbit in many different ways. But by far the most famous and popular variety is this here. It's called Long Chi Tu. Translation, cold eat rabbit. Mm, Many say that Zigong is home to Sichuan's spiciest food, so I guess we're really starting off this food adventure with a bang. This is um, one of like the biggest rabbit specialties in Zigong, Lung Shi Tu. And you'll find stores selling it pretty much everywhere you look. Honestly, if you came to Zigong and didn't know it loved eating rabbit meat, you'd find it for yourself pretty darn quickly. And I have also gotten myself a rabbit leg, as well as, of course, two rabbit heads. I mean, I have had a rabbit head before in Chengdu, but everyone keeps telling me that, you know, once the rabbits leave Zigong, they don't have the same flavor. So I'm excited to try Zigong rabbits in Zigong. Let's see. But first things first, let's try some of this extra spicy Lung Chi Tu. Mm, it's nice. It's, um, it's on the tougher side, but when you bite down on it, it kind of like comes apart. So it's like <laughs> tough, but not if that makes sense. The flavor is nice of the rabbit. There's no um, like Sing Wei. Uh, that comes at me in the aftertaste. But um, yeah, definitely feeling some spice. I wonder how people in Zigong are eating this dish. Like, is it with rice? If you're from Zigong, let me know in the comments below. Now let's try us this rabbit leg here. Oh, it's nice. Quite glazy and let's see. Mmm, very tender. Slightly spicy. The meat is super tender. It just falls off that bone. I think the closest thing I could equate rabbit meat to is is chicken meat. It's got that stringy, chickeny, textural quality, but without any of the chickeny taste. Now it's time to get gloved up, because next, we're having rabbit heads. Check this out. Got our rabbit head here. See the teeth there? This is a uh, numbing and spicy mala flavor. So um, hopefully I do this a bit better this time. Um, my second time having rabbit head, just gonna like go in and open up the jaws. You can see the tongue there. But yeah, seems my rabbit head deconstruction methods have not improved at all. This is just as messy as I remembered it. <laughs> Even though this is my second time, it always uh, it always hits me, you know, seeing a, a rabbit head so up close. Um, I believe this here is the tongue. Mm, nice. Now I'm going to go in for those luscious pieces of meat in the cheekbone. As my friend Jasmine says, as we all know, uh, all the textures are in the head. So every bit of the head will bring a different texture experience. Mm. The cheek meat is really good. Super, super tender. And now let's open up the big the head. Even though they've cut this down the center to make it easier, I can't seem to attack this as gracefully as I would like to. So basically the aim of the game is just going through, picking off little bits of meat that you can find. I feel like this is the perfect meal for people who like to like watch TV, be doing something with their hands, but also be eating because it's so fiddly you really have to make your way around the bones I mean it's not the meatiest piece of meat in the body um, if you wanted meat you'd probably just go straight for a leg but I feel like this is good for people who like a challenge and who like their textures Ooh, see the brain there just scoop that out with my finger here mm. nice like it all tastes the same it has the same flavor of that like really intense chili sauce, it's like numbing, spicy. Everything tastes the same, it's just different textures. I mean, that brain is so soft, pate-like. Yeah, nice. Let's see what the rest of the day is gonna bring. Let's take these off. Oh man, still got through my 
still got through my glove. Okay, so we're now en route to our second food stop of the day and driving around, I found it so hilarious because we passed so many Year of the Rabbit installations. I guess I've chosen a very appropriate year to visit Zagong. I'm going to a restaurant that has a very interesting name and I have to admit it's part of the reason why I decided to go to this place. It's called Toilet Rabbit. Toilet Rabbit Store. Um, so I'm not sure how those two come together what the correlation is, why it's called that, but I'm sure we will soon find out. But it turns out the Toilet Rabbit store is not so easy to find. So apparently we're here. I don't know, I can't see anything. I meandered my way through these back streets. At this point, pretty sure this Toilet Rabbit store had closed down for good, but a friendly local was able to point me in the right direction. It's like Jeremiah. Uh, oh, oh, see here. Okay, I've been told it's come here. Where am I? Eventually, I did find the restaurant tucked away right at the end of this street. It's got this open kitchen and the smells coming out of it are absolutely incredible. So this restaurant's specialty dish is called Gangwa Tu and there's actually a whole kitchen area dedicated to cooking just this one dish. So the workflow goes like this. It starts over here where you have these freshly skinned rabbits which are then presented to these two guys here that are just cutting them up and dicing them up. Once it's diced, it's taken over to these two guys over here. They're the chefs, they're cooking, and they're basically frying it in a lot of oil, putting in all these like spices and chili and ingredients. The smell in here is absolutely divine. My mouth is watering. So I know this dish is gonna be super tasty. That is definitely not in question. The biggest problem I'm currently dealing with is serving size. The bowl you see here is actually the small size. <laughs> Okay. Um, I had a look at the menu and the dish I came here to try, the Gan Guo Tu, it's their famous specialty dish here, is 168 renminbi for the small portion and it looks absolutely massive. Um, but they've actually agreed to give me a half portion, which I'm so grateful for because I really don't like to waste. Um, so because I'm getting the half portion, I have a little bit of extra room in my stomach, I think. So I've also gotten myself this. It's called Su Liang Cai, basically vegetarian cold noodles. Noodles, and I've been told it's a typical Yanbang Cai dish. It smells absolutely amazing, so, so fragrant. Um, so I'm gonna go in for this first. I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm so excited to try this. Those noodles look so slippery and delicious. Mm. Those noodles are so delicate. They just fall apart in your mouth. It's so fragrant, very garlicky. Feel like there's some vinegar in there, so it has that like slight sourness to it as well. Salty, definitely got those bold flavors that I was told to expect from Zugong cuisine. Oh, I wish I could send you some smell through the screen. Mm. Oh. It's a bit hard at that moment, my extra small portion of Gangwa Tu arrived. This is Ban Fu. It's It's so nice. Oh my golly gosh, uh, this here is the half portion. I'm finding that hard to believe. Oh, but it smells so complex and rich. Oh, it smells amazing. I wonder if I should have this with rice. Oh, just now, you said, this should be me fan or you can eat and now that I'm having a better look at it, I'm noticing it's not just rabbit in this. There's a lot of other things. Um, most notably, mushrooms. Look at these juicy mushrooms. That looks amazing. We also have a lot of peanuts. I see a lot of peppercorns. There's some nice coriander on top. Hopefully it gives it a bit of a, a zingy freshness. Let's try this. I'm going to go in, of course, for a bit of rabbit first. It's so tender. The texture in this is so similar to that of chicken. So I keep waiting for that chickeny taste or any kind of meaty taste to come at me, but it really doesn't have too much of a meaty taste to it, which is kind of strange. Um, you know, when you eat a steak, you have that beefy taste in your mouth. When you have chicken, you have a chickeny taste in your mouth. I feel like when I eat this, I'm just getting the texture and then whatever flavor they're putting on it. Um, and in this case, the flavor is really, really delicious. That sauce is amazing. Really oomphy, but yeah, lots of bones. 
so many small bones. Guys, watch out when you eat this. I almost broke a tooth like three times. And when it comes to the flavor of this dish, it's so rich and deep and complex. It's salty. I feel like it's slightly cumin as well. I feel like there are a lot of herbs and spices and sauces that go into making this what it is. It's really hard to explain, actually. The only thing for you to do is to come here yourself and try it out. Um, I'm really excited to try this mushroom. There are so many mushrooms in this, which I'm excited about. Mm. Yum. So soft and juicy and mushroomy. It goes so well with the sauce. Oh yum, this was absolutely delicious. As soon as I had one of those mushrooms, I just knew what I needed to do next. The rabbit is delicious, but it can be a little bit fiddly. It has quite some bones in it. So um, I'm making myself a little bit of a mushroom peanut bowl here with rice, um, because for ease of eating, mushrooms are unbeaten, no bones. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. I love the addition of the mushrooms. And would it be a real trip to the toilet rabbit store without visiting the famous toilet in question? Apparently it's up here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I see it. <laughs> the toilet the restaurant is named after. I just find this so hilarious. Like I've never been to a restaurant named after a toilet before. And I feel like that really hints to the confidence of this restaurant in their food. Only a restaurant extremely confident in the food they serve would name their restaurant after a toilet. Um, but you know what? I could pee. Let's use it. <laughs> Let's have the full experience. Anyway, um, that meal is going to take me quite some time to digest. So I will see you much later tonight for dinner. Okay, it's a few hours later and we're just pulling up to our restaurant for dinner now. Thank you. How are you? Oh. Oh, wow, so, okay, <laughs> okay, we have arrived, <laughs> dinner time. This is actually the top rated restaurant in Zigong, so of course I had to come give it a try. It has a huge range of rabbit dishes, but it specializes in this one here, Xiangguo Tu. It's another dish served in a massive pot. It's 128 renminbi for the large portion, 98 for the small. And just for fun, I have also ordered these, this little rabbit dessert here. It's not actually made from rabbit, but they look like rabbits and they look really, really cute. Ooh, it's my one. Oh, this is this is this is this is this is this is the so called small portion. I am deceased. My hand is here, the pot is here. It is massive. One key takeaway from Zagong this is a city best visited with lots of friends. They do it big here in Zagong. I've asked for a bowl of rice and uh, here is the bowl. <laughs> oh my good lord. I've been told this dish is very, very spicy, so I've prepared some soybean milk as a precaution. Well, it smells very fresh. The meat looks very tender. I'm getting like a pepper, peppercorniness, like a green peppercorniness. And in fact, on top here, I can see many green peppercorns. My favorite peppercorns. So I think this is gonna be really nice and zingy and zappy. And let's see if it's just as spicy as my, uh, as my taxi driver warned me that it would be. Let's go in with that. Mm. I like the flavor, very peppercorny. Look, it's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. I did insist that they didn't turn down the spice level. We don't eat it. Don't eat it. I want to eat it when you eat the kind of spice. Don't touch it with the spice. But I do somehow suspect that they have. I think they've seen me sitting at this table and they're like automatically turning down the spice because I'm, I'm pretty okay. Um, it's more mouth numbing than anything and I've got a little bit of a buzzing actually happening in my throat. I guess less spicy means uh, more I'll be able to eat and be able to finish this off. So where lunch was more salty and rich in flavor, this was lighter, more zingy and refreshing. Both really, really good, just very different flavor profiles. Man, I wonder how many rabbits actually go into this one pot. Is this one rabbit? Am I... <laughs> Am I downing bun buns right now? Sorry for your sacrifice, bun buns, but you should know you were very tasty, but also very bony. I think bun buns taking her revenge from the afterlife, and I mean, I'm not gonna hate on that. Yeah. Whoa! This is so cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so many rabbits. This is precious. So jiggly. Arguably just as cute were these rabbit eared tomatoes. I, I don't actually know what they're made of. I'm assuming like a glutinous rice kind of thing. Uh, 
I think this is a chopstick kind of thing. Yes. Oh gosh, no, that's not gonna work. Maybe it's a spoon. Come on. Slippery buggers. I think I'm just gonna have to get it with my hands. <laughs> it's so soft. What is this? <laughs> he brought me a spoon, bless him. That's really good. It's actually a coconut jelly. Really, really nice. Yum. And actually a great palate cleanser between bites of this Yanguo tool. Okay, so I uh, I have a new friend here. She's so sweet. Yay! Okay, Tiesa, <laughs> yay! Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hi. Hello, I've got my massive box here. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> She just came up to me and gave me the biggest hug. It really warmed my heart. Oh, you know when you're far away from home? You know, I haven't seen my mum in a while. Well, two weeks. Uh, but you know, just getting a big hug from a lovely waitress, that really made my night. Okay, so obviously I had to take a lot of that home. Even though I've had a very full day of eating rabbit, it seems that tomorrow I will be continuing to eat rabbit, but good thing I like rabbit. And over the course of today, I feel like I have an even bigger appreciation for rabbit. Um, but may I suggest to any rabbits who may be watching this video, avoid the general area of Zagong uh, if you want to spare your life uh, because they will definitely eat you here and I would too because there are so many delicious ways of making rabbit here I'm so glad I came and explored as always please don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already please 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 subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me I work so hard on these videos for you guys so please go ahead and reward me by pressing that subscribe button and uh, yeah leave me a comment let me know what you thought of this video. Anyway guys, uh, tomorrow the adventure continues. I am traveling to another city here in Sichuan called Ibin. It's a big destination for food, home of burning noodles. So obviously I will be eating those, but also a whole lot of other things. What exactly, I don't know. So stick around to see what I get up to next week. Um, thanks guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.